Omar Kazarski, Creative Director of Bauer Web Solutions. In this video I'm going to show you how to edit a WordPress page using WordPress version 4.4.2. Once you log into your WordPress dashboard, you can go to the left hand column to the Pages section. You'll notice these are the pages of my site. So if I wanted to edit the home page, I would find it here in the list, hover over the title of the page that I wish to edit, and click on the Edit button that appears underneath it. This brings me to the page editor. Now another way that you can get to the page that you want to edit is if once you've logged in as an administrator to your WordPress site, which again would have brought you to the dashboard, you can go up here to the top left hand corner of your screen to the name of your site and then scroll down from the drop down and click on visit site. So you could then navigate to the page that you want to edit. In this case, I'll navigate myself to the home page and once there in the top horizontal black navigation I can click on the button here that says edit page so two ways of getting to the page that you want to edit so in editing a WordPress page you are presented with two ways of editing a visual tab which shows you more or less what the page would look like and a text tab which will show you actual HTML coding where appropriate. Underneath the visual tab we have some basic editing formats which if you're familiar with Word should be uh, familiar to you. We have the ability to bold, italics, strike through, create a bulleted list or a numbered list, creating a block quote, a horizontal line, changing alignments of our text from a line left, center, or right, and we can add a hyperlink and thus remove our hyperlink. We have a read more tag which comes into play more with um, posts than it does with uh, pages, and we also have this button right here which is uh, pretty important in my opinion, the toolbar toggle. So when we click on that you'll see it actually gives us additional options in our visual tab. So if I click on it as the name suggests it toggles it from a simple toolbar to a more complex toolbar. So when we have the toolbar expanded we'll have a, additional choices such as heading styles for a paragraph, the ability to underline text which I strongly recommend do not using it just confuses people when they see underlying text that isn't a hyperlink so from an aesthetic standpoint I would suggest strongly that you avoid using the underlying feature but it is available for you you can justify your text you can change uh, text color paste text from another program such as Word uh, clear out your formatting add special characters like trademark symbols, copyright symbols, etc. Increase or decrease your paragraph indenting and undoing or redoing your previous uh, operation. So for the most part editing text in a WordPress page is just as easy as typing within the page here say here is some text and again if I didn't like what I just did I could undo that operation undo it if I were to bold some text here it's a matter of simply highlighting my text if I wanted to make this a different color I could highlight that change my text color so in the visual tab you see you're more or less seeing what it would look like in the text tab you'll see how 
it will display the actual HTML coding necessary to uh, get your styling across. So for the most part, most users will probably be using the visual tab to enter their content. So I could add, you know, types of more content. If I wanted to start another paragraph, just put, uh, hit your return key or your enter key to drop it down to another paragraph. If I wanted to list things such as we sell uh, boats, planes, trains, and much more. So if I wanted these middle paragraphs that I've separated each with a return key to be a bulleted list, I would highlight those paragraphs and then from my toolbar here in the visual tab I say bulleted list. And if instead I wanted to be a numbered ordered list, I would click on numbered list. And here it is back to bulleted and if I didn't want it to be listed at all, I would just click on that icon a second time and it removes the formatting. If I want to make a certain paragraph a block quote, I could highlight it and click on this block quote icon here and it indents it and formats it as though it were a quote. Horizontal line is exactly that it will just add a horizontal line to your layout. The alignments are pretty self-explanatory. Align left, centered, flush right. If I wanted to create a link, let's say here I had some text contact us for more information and I wanted the words contact us for more information to be a hyperlink, I would highlight that text. And over here, I would click on the icon that looks like a chain link to insert a link. If I were linking to somebody else's website, I would put in the full web address or URL into this field. And it has to begin with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then your the rest of your web address, www.acme.com or whatever. If you want to link to one of your own pages within your own website, we would click on this little area here that says, or link to existing content. So this would list all of the pages and posts of your site. And if you have a site that has quite a lot of content, it might be kind of hard to scroll through all of these. So you could actually click here within search for the name of the page that you're looking for, in this case contact. There's my contact page. So I would click on that. It puts in the URL in that field and I would say add link. And now it's a hyperlink. If I want to edit it later on, when I hover my mouse or click on that link, I can from the pop-up menu that appears, click on the little pencil icon to edit the link further. Or if I don't want to do that, I click on the X here to get out of that. Or if I wanted to remove the link entirely, like let's say I wanted to keep the text that's there, but I want to remove the hyperlink, I click inside the hyperlink and then click the X to remove the link. Certain uh, themes that are used with your WordPress site may give you different templates or ways that the page would be formatted. In this case, I'm just leaving it as a full width page. So this is very basic, basic page that already exists. So if I want to save the changes that I've made to this existing page, I would say update here on the 
right hand side I click on the blue update button and my pages my page edits have now been updated so I can view the page by clicking on view page right here or at the top of my screen and there are the changes that I've made. 